Continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about a Carnival LR Orange Pickle. It's coming in from Sam. But before I go ahead and read Sam's cards, send me custom cards over to VHFCustomCards at Jiva.com. So get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. Sam says, I hope I clicked on this one. Enjoy. And uh, the other message says, this link contains the intended card. Sorry about that. Ha ha. Uh, I sounded so monotone when I said that. <laughs> Sam, thank you for sending your custom card, brother. So let's see what we got here. So it's leader skill is Namakians four key and 200% across the board or power wishes three key and 200% across the board so he is a dual 200% leader skill uh and his super attack for 12 key that being demon combo he gains 50% attack and 30% defense for one turn while greatly lowering the enemy's attack and defense with a 50% chance to stun so he has a very loaded 12 key and his 18 key that being the special beam cannon he gets 50% attack and defense for one turn and he guaranteed stuns the enemy for one turn and massively lowers their attack and defense defense okay so good super attack effects across the board and his passive that being power granted by his dragon 200 attack and defense at the start of the turn he gets additional 100 attack and defense when attacking nice and one key for keys to obtain and performs an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance to become a super attack yeah that's 70 percent. I, I read that as medium for some reason in my head but i said it out loud inside the correct wording <laughs> So yeah, he performs an additional attack that has a 70% chance to come a super attack when there is a superhero's category ally attack in the same turn, and performs a, an additional super attack when there's an ally with the name Gohan on the team. So very easy to get those two restrictions off. And all allies get three key and 20% attack and defense upon receiving an attack. Nice. And one key up to five and 30% attack and defense up to 150% with each attack received. So that's about, what's that? That's about five attacks. Right, just about i'm pretty sure it's just five attacks yeah because three six nine twelve and fifteen yes yeah, five attacks okay and an additional 40 percent defense per attack performed up to 120 percent okay so that's pretty much four attacks he has to perform and he just unrestricted guards and he also gets what else 30 percent damage reduction when all allies attack in the same turn are super class and he gives namekians and superheroes category allies 30 percent defense nice and he's effective against all types when facing an extreme class enemy. And he also gets additional 30% damage reduction when all allies attack in the same turn are a part of the Namekians, superheroes, or power wishes categories. And he recovers 70,000 HP per rainbow keys are obtained. Okay. And he gets additional 20% damage reduction for the rest of the battle after this character received the seven attack in battle. Okay, so there are quite a few things to talk about with this character now granted there are a lot of restrictions on this card but i feel like the restrictions are quite easy to bypass it's like you have to have a superheroes category character attack in the same turn for him get his additional super attack chance you have to have a go on on the team for the guarantee super which should be very easy to get off you also have to what else you have to have a full super class rotation very easy you have to go up against an extreme class enemy for his effective against all types you have to have a full rotation of namekians or superheroes or power pushes category characters for him to have his additional 30 percent damage rush which you really really want considering the fact that he has unrestricted guard and he also has to get hit seven times to get that additional damage reduction for the rest of the battle so in total granted you're in the right uh circumstance for this card he can get up to what's that 80 percent damage reduction yeah 80 percent damage reduction with guard recovering massive amounts of hp he can support granted you are on superheroes and oh, and or slash Namekians. If you're on superheroes uh, on uh, or on Namekians, you can get up to three key, 20% attack and 30 defense. Oh my God, 30% defense support. <laughs> yeah, I've read so many cards. Guys, please excuse me on there. Uh, man, I've read so many cards over the past like couple of months. This, this double uploading is definitely been challenging. I'm not even gonna lie, but yeah, I'm not going to cut that out, by the way. As I, I was saying, you can get up to a three key, 20% attack, and 30% defense for support from him. He builds up very easily, just having to do what's that. He has to build up that 40% defense up to 120%. That's four attacks. You build it up off of four, four attacks. It's very easy considering the fact that he can do two plus supers inside his passive, one being guaranteed and one also being an additional super attack chance. And he also just takes five hits to build, fully build up. This design is nice. And granted, at the start of the turn, he's going to have up to, what's that, 60% damage reduction in the right condition with guard? That's very strong. And all he has to do is take five hits. That is it. 
yeah, that's just five hits. It should be very easy for and yeah, he also has very good super attack picks. It should be very easy for this guy to build up. Excuse me, guys, one second. He's got a little thirsty while reading. But um, yeah. Oh, what's his active skill? Uh final defensive tactic. Randley changes key spheres to rainbow for one turn, and all allies get 39% attack and even the rest of the battle. Like what? That's so good. Especially if you're running double. This guy's guy's very good. Very good on the defensive end and should be very good on, on the offensive end, considering the fact that he has 200% attack right over here, 100% attack with his defense when attacking. He builds up his uh, attack and defensive buff as well as key when uh, when taking attacks. He also gets his own uh, key and um, attack support from him just receiving an attack. This guy should be fairly good on the offensive end and very strong on the defensive end. Now, I will say he, he is way better on the defensive end of what I'm seeing than he is on the offensive end, considering the fact that he has more defensive maneuvers in his kit rather than offensive maneuvers. I mean, granted, he does have the effect of against all types. He does have that attack buildup with his defensive buildup. He does have that uh, attack as well as defensive buff at the start of the turn as well as that attack buff when attacking. But um, yeah, that, that's about it. Yeah. The defensive mechanics in his card outweigh the offensive mechanics in his card, which makes a whole lot of sense. And outside of the, of the defensive mechanic of this card, this card is bringing a lot to the table. He's going to be sitting in slot one with up to 80% damage reduction with guard. He's going to be building up, uh, what's that? He's going to build up his attack defensive buff to be able to withstand these attacks as the fight goes on. He's also going to be able to support the team with up to, what's that? It's three key. And because you also get that additional 39% attack against the rest of the battle. That's what um math off the top of my head because he also gives an additional 30 percent defense to superheroes slash namekians so math off the top of my head that should be in total three key uh 59 percent attack 59 percent attack and 69 percent defense yeah three key 59 percent attack and and uh 69 percent defense yeah for the team he's supporting he's going to be able to heal for them he's going to be able to withstand those attacks i slot one he's good i mean what can i say yeah he's definitely good uh and the activation condition for his active skill uh fifth turn from the start of battle that's it yeah from, from the start of turn pretty much and he randomly changes keys of, his, of a certain type to rainbow yeah he's a rainbow orb changer for one turn and he's going to be recovering crazy amounts of hp from that turn he's good yeah i don't really see two many flaws i could talk about the only flaw i could say is that he's heavily restricted but even if then i feel like these restrictions are very bypassable if that's a word <laughs> doubt it is and his link set uh fierce battle legendary power brainiacs solid support namekians power bestowed by god and cold judgment and the categories he's on is namekians full power transmission boost uh movie heroes worthy rivals bond of master and disciple revenge rapid growth battle of wits connected hope powerful comeback Gifted Warriors, Battle of Faith, Fuse Fighters. He's on so many categories. Holy hell. Uh, Earthbred Fighters, Superheroes, and Power of Wishes. And these are his stats. Yeah, it makes a whole lot of sense. His defensive stats. It's like his overall balance stats. Yeah, he's going to be hitting hard, is he? Yeah. <laughs> um. So, anyways. That's going to be it for uh, Orange Piccolo. Yeah. That's going to be it. So, I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Um, send me custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. Um, join the 24 7 Discord server. The link is down below in the description for you guys to join our Discord server today. Leave a like, subscribe, and that is going to be all. Sam, thank you for sending your custom card. Peace.